This is Jasper Simons of APA. He's also a member of our Future Lab Committee. He'll be moderating. He's prob he probably has the most difficult moderating job to do because he has to keep every speaker to a five-minute slot, and it all goes really fast, and they'll be kicked off stage if they don't keep to it. So that's why we choose our tallest uh, uh, member of uh, Future Lab. <laughs> Jasper, I'm handing over to you. Success. Um, and we won't be doing questions in between or afterwards. Um, but I do want to take one minute to point out a young gentleman here in the front, uh, Stephen, who is our uh, special guest today. He is actually he's, um, the son of uh, one of our Scope uh, eKnowledge uh, um, colleagues. Um, Stephen just won second prize in a physics contest at a school for a fantastic project measuring uh, mass and um, size. Um, and he was telling me that he was building on the work of some other student in his class and taking the research even further. Um, so just congratulations to you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. And, and please stay curious. I saw the Minecraft. That's the best thing ever that happened to kids. All right. First up is uh, Richard Wynn. He's uh, the VP of Sales and Marketing for Arius, a uh, provider of editorial manager and the production systems for publishers. Um, he uh, has a business and law degree from uh, the University of Edinburgh, um, and before Aries worked for Silver Platter. Um, Richard? Okay, so um, what do we want from the submission process? Well, authors uh, want speed, convenience, and no hassle. Uh, that's, that's pretty clear that that's their objectives. But it's not just authors that are our constituents. We also have funding agencies, and they spend tens of billions of dollars on research so they want accountability through structured data, accurate data, data with provenance, and granularity. So they're pushing in the other direction. And there's really no end in sight. The amount of metadata we have to collect it, it increases almost every day. So uh, co-author information, ORCIDs, Ringolds, statistical methods, uh, the list goes on. And at the center of this tension between these two hairy groups, uh, is you, the publisher. Uh, and the real choke point is your peer review system. That's where these two forces meet, and that's where there's a lot of heat uh, today in our industry. Now, a few years ago, this didn't matter, because you could just have the author suck it up. It was just tough luck. But with open access, the author is now our customer. That's a bit of a shock, um, and we have to pay attention uh, to what they want. Now, some people will tell you that there's a magic wand you can wave here and that magically you can go from author submission to structured, high-quality, provenanced uh, uh, data. Uh, that's not going to happen for a while. And until then, we have to make incremental improvements in the submission user interface to, deal, uh, to make the experience better for authors. But there are also some strategic initiatives we can engage on uh, to make it a better experience for everyone. So the tactical UI improvements include things like drag and drop submit, uh, author uh, autocomplete of uh, data, uh, acronym mapping, uh, better use of, of graphics and image in the submission interface. But the real leverage here is to empower new groups. Um, so I'm happy to uh, announce EM Ingest, which is a, a process where submission partners can automatically put manuscripts into the submission process. Who are these submission partners? Well, they could be language editing services, collaborative authoring tools, publishers themselves with their own portals, uh, or QA or pre-peer review services. How does it work? Well, the author can come directly to editorial manager today and submit, or they can work with a submission partner that adds value in the process, and the submission partner uses EM ingest to get the manuscript into the journal. Now, this is a, a screenshot from the submission uh, queue of a journal, and you probably can't see, but the submission partner is identified. So the journal always knows where the manuscript has come from and can choose to work or not work with that submission partner. At that point the manuscript can either be routed back to the author to complete any incomplete information that you might want to collect from the author, or the journal office can choose to continue with the submission uh, in the normal process. 
Now, you might say to me, this is a brilliant idea, Richard. Why didn't you do it five years ago? Well, the answer is the standards didn't exist, and now they do. Now we have JATS, now we have ORCID, and we can actually make this possible. I'm pleased to announce that our first submission partner is Editage. Uh, they're collaborating with publishers, for example, with Walters Kluver. They're developing a, submit, uh, a portal for author services that will be able to directly transfer manuscripts into Editorial Manager. Our second submission partner is an innovative startup company called Manuscripts Apps. Uh, it's the same team that wrote the uh, a very successful uh, papers product, and they are launching a manuscript editing tool for authors, a couple of screenshots here, that will help and guide the author through the manuscript uh, uh, preparation process with a lot of unique tools to get the author to where they need, and then from there be able to directly submit to the peer review system editorial manager. Our third submission partner could be you. <laughs> uh, you might be a publishing company. You might be a services company. We'd like to work with you using this uh, uh, submission uh, process to, to let many flowers bloom. So as an industry, we have a growing problem. The metadata capture problem is getting larger and larger. There's no quick fix. But there are things that we can do by working with human and technology partners, and we hope uh, that we can work with you. My time's up, but our time is not in the industry. We need to fix this problem. Thank you, Richard. Thank you.